Today we're going to be talking about that beer sickness that's bringing the whole world to a complete stop. All right, everyone, chill. Stay tuned for more. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. That's right, we're back to the old format. We're going to start doing uh, a lot of these videos uh, in coming days and weeks. You already know the situation is starting to get critical out there, so a lot of you guys have been constantly be asking constantly asking me for my opinion and what's going on out there and uh you know i have basically been doing podcasts i've been uploading to my other channel i've been uploading uh you know uh to the boomer and the zoomer uh, which is a podcast i'm doing with somebody else and i'm just doing a lot of content i'm doing a lot of collaborations and just you know doing my thing but i'm out here in mexico and i thought that i was going to be um you know scathing away from the quarantine but it seemed like i'm under quarantine as well so i'm gonna be stuck at home for the time being and uh, only going out for emergencies like everybody else out there even though things are pretty uh taken care of out here in mexico but that's not what we're talking about today in fact what we're going to be talking about today is what do i think is going on now, as you guys already know, every single Wednesday I do my live stream. I've done other live streams here and there. I've done other videos here and there talking about this subject, whether on this channel or my other channels. But you know, I haven't really made a video just talking about what's going on because there's a lot going on. A lot. All right. And um, to me, I feel like uh, there's just so much to process that the average human out there can't even process it seriously the whole world has been turned upside down in less than a month i mean seriously we, we this has been like um depending on what country you're in and depending on where you are out there you know basically it's either hit you like a ton of bricks out of nowhere or it's come very slowly and gradually and it's just taking forever like how it's happening out here in other parts of the world it's happening like again you know people are just getting caught off guard and bam before you know it there's tons of people dead all over the place and uh, what is going on anyway what is going on so look i'm sure a lot of you guys that have been out there in quarantine already for a little while or have been staying at home because you've lost your job or whatever the situation has uh you know has you at home at the moment um you know that there's other sh stuff that's going on right now that doesn't make any sense and that's what we're starting to well, that's what we're going to be talking about here today now i'm sure a lot of you guys have seen plenty of videos all over the internet already and um you know trying to go down this rabbit hole trying to make um sense of all this trying to piece all the pieces pieces together and um it's very hard in fact you know one you know you're getting news from over here you're getting news from over there you're seeing things with your own eyes you're experiencing things on your by yourself and you, nothing is really necessarily making sense you know your insides are telling you one thing and what you're what you're seeing is telling you another or you're it, it's 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 all over the place but for for people out there that have been following this vlog have been following this channel for a very long time or a while at least you guys already know that there is an and there has been an economic bubble that has been keep that has been inflating and inflating and inflating for a very long time and we basically have been waiting for that thing to and it popped and what made it pop the beer virus all right that's basically what made the whole thing pop the whole economic system was hanging by a thread it was hanging by a thread for a long time as we came into 2020 the thing started seeing many many cracks um because as of last year back in 2019 we were starting all those repo purchases and they were purchasing you know um i think it was like 40 billion a day and fast forward to today where we are right now today they are repurchasing um the stock market at not 20 or 40 or 80 billion a day but 1 trillion a day all right and and then some and as of uh you know just a few hours ago and so on and so forth um i'm gonna see if i can find the clip and put it here can you characterize everything that the fed has done this past week as essentially flooding the system with money yes exactly and there's no end to your ability to do that there is no end to our ability to do that is the fed just going to print money that's literally what congress has told us to do. That's the authority that they've given us to print money and provide liquidity into the financial system. And that's how we do it. We, we create it electronically and th then we can also print it with the Treasury Department 
printed so that you can get money out of your ATM. I heard from a bank in our region, a well-to-do customer came in and said, I want to withdraw $600,000 of cash. Now, we can supply all the cash that the banks need to meet their customers' concerns, but it just speaks to the fear and the uncertainty that is rippling through the economy. To the person who is about to grab their car keys and go to the ATM and take out $3,000, you say what? You don't need to. Your ATM is safe. Your banks are safe. There's enough cash in the financial system, and there is an infinite amount of cash at the Federal Reserve. We will do whatever we need to do to make sure that there's enough cash in the banking system. Will the Federal Reserve ensure that banks have all the cash they need to satisfy whatever withdrawals may be coming? Yes. This is the fundamental reason the Federal Reserve exists. We call it lender of last resort. This is literally why central banks exist. If everybody gets scared at the same time and they demand their money back, that's why the Federal Reserve is here, is to make sure that there's liquidity, that there's money to meet those demands. We will absolutely meet those demands. But as you guys just saw and heard from that guy right there, we have plenty of uh, infinity QE coming our way, all right? We got infinity money coming our way. And so now what's, you know, the next question is that a lot of people are gonna start probably asking themselves is like, well, if they can just print infinity money, then why are we paying taxes? Okay, so that's that. You know, another thing is like, you know, with uh, just in the US alone, with um, all this money that they're promising to give all these people out there, they're also promising to make sure that you gotta pay it back. I hope that that's not the case, but that's not what we're gonna be talking about here. We're, we're talking about the fact that, what is really going on? What's, what's, what's going on? We know that the world economy has come to a complete halt, a complete stop, and uh, we're all trying to make some sense out of all this, and we can't, we have no idea. Um, you, no matter what city you're in, in the world right now, you go outside and it's a ghost town. Nobody's out, you know, whether it's volunteer, you know, me, you know, me, you know, meaning that whether the people are volunteering to stay at home or, or you know, because of, they're scared, or the government is mandating that they have to stay at home or else. All right. So something is really weird is going on because never in human history have we ever had a situation like this in which the whole world has was forced to come to a stop. And um, I know that a lot of people out there are, could, you know, are going to start telling me, hey, listen, there's a lot of people that are dying. There's a huge situation, you know, the pandemic, the deaths, blah, 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 blah. But what I'm going to tell you is the fact that, listen, guys, everything out there that they do, all right, is all perfectly calculated. Well, no matter how they make it seem, whether, you know, you might think that it's not, it really is. Okay. And, um, you know, honestly, I have no idea what the agenda behind all this is, but if we're really going to just um, bring it, you know, uh, what is it like? If we're, if we're really just going to give it, explain it in the layman terms, the dollar is trying to stay on top. Um, they're trying to remain, they're trying to keep this reserve currency, the U.S. dollar, strong right now all around the world. Um, currencies are failing, you know, meaning like right now, um, the Mexican currency is, uh, everything is 25 to 30 percent more expensive here. Everything is 25 to 30 to 35 percent more expensive all over the world. And in the U.S., the dollar is getting stronger, aka things are getting cheaper. But they're really not. They're going to start getting really expensive soon. But I know you guys are still asking, you know, asking yourselves, when is this guy going to start getting to the virus situation? Look, guys. Let's just get to it. What is going on? Well, look, guys, the whole bu the bubble was going to burst. So the people in power basically said, we're going to let this thing burst on its own and we're not going to be able to control it or B, we can burst it ourselves and control the whole agenda and control this whole thing. Now, because of things that have happened up until now, ever since the bubble popped, I really do think that this is not over. I don't think that the dollar or the US economy or anything like that is gonna tank or fall. In fact, what I really do think is gonna happen is that, you know, we have taken this hit. We're, we're probably gonna still go lower, <clears throat> but at the end of the day, the dollar is gonna still remain strong for the time being because right now the US is giving US dollars to banks all over the world. You know, US dollars are now flooding the world. And these dollars 
are, are, are literally being given to a lot of governments and in a sense, you know, they're telling these governments, hey, listen, you want these dollars to keep coming in? Then you gotta comply and do as you're told. You know, we gotta do these massive curfews, we gotta make sure that everybody's in panic, we gotta make sure that, you know, uh, we, we got this agenda controlled, all right? We wanna make sure that we um, can uh, force everybody to comply. And that's the thing, you know, I really do think that this all, this whole thing was perfectly orchestrated in the sense that they wanted to bring this economy down. This economy is not going out the door anytime soon. They're going to bring it down and bring it right back up. But in the meantime, as they're doing this, they're also doing a dry run across the world. Don't be getting it twisted out there, guys, you know, as to thinking that, you know, um, every country is sovereign and, every, and all these countries, you know, they all do their own thing. No, man, all these countries are controlled by the same small group of people, all right? Those are uh, Rothy <coughs> Chalids, those Rothschilds, all right? Those child Roths out there, they have banks all over the world. They got banks in China. They got banks in the U.S., obviously. They got banks in Venezuela, they got banks all over the world and they're trying to control this agenda. Basically, what they're trying to do is trying to see if they can bring the whole world to a stop. They're trying to see if they can enact martial law across the world. Not just in a country, not just in a region, but across the world simultaneously. And they're doing it. You know, right now, whether, whether or not you, we might think that things are under control in China, they're still not under control. I'm not talking about the virus, I'm talking about how the government is still keeping everybody in control, even more so now than they ever did. And we're, we're now basically, no matter what country you go to, you're starting to see some heavy, uh, heavy handed use of government, you know, heavy handed use um, and power um, abuse by the government and forcing individuals out there to comply to these orders. There's, government is so scared. Of all of this pandemic, but the reality is, is that this whole thing, you know, whether you want to like, whether you like this or not, you know, whether this, look, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that this thing doesn't exist because obviously it's real, obviously it's killing people all over the world, obviously it's, uh, you know, controlling, uh, uh, what is it, where it's controlling a narrative um, by, you know, by the more people die out there, the more people get scared, the more people believe this narrative and agenda, and the more people um, are. You know, the more the, the thing is that for the first time ever, most people out there right now are deathly afraid of catching a disease, not because they're afraid of dying themselves. They're not afraid of, uh, you know, hurting themselves or anything like that. No, most people right now are basically in f uh, full panic mode because they don't want to get sick and then get somebody else sick. Get an older person sick, get a child sick, you know, be responsible for the death of an older family member or an older friend or a young kid or something like that. That's basically how they have us all by the balls. You know, the whole agenda that's behind all this right now um, is basically, you know, controlling us with fear. That's what they're doing. And uh, why are they doing this? Well, we know why they're doing this. They want a one world government, one world currency, one world everything. They've been talking about this for a very long time, whether they call it the new world order or they call it, you know, whatever the fuck they want to call it. But this is, you know, that's what they're still trying to push and still trying to make happen. Now, as you guys already know, for a lot of you guys out there that have been listening to my channel for a very long time, you guys know that I talk about Bitcoin, I talk about that technology and how that is uh, going to help us, you know, moving forward and I uh, hope avoid uh, having a Hunger Games type uh, situation, having um, this uh, 1984 type of uh, world that we're moving into. Because that is what the world that we're moving into right now. That's what everyone's deathly afraid because we're moving into 1984. That's right, the book, all right? And by the way, a little quote out there, a little Jose quote. I don't know where I heard this, but whatever. I, I stole it, all right? And I, I say it all the time now. But the solution to 1984 is 1776. And that's basically what we need to do right now, okay? We need to figure out a way, all right, to stop being little bitches, all right? And we gotta throw down, all right? And we gotta go to the gates and demand what we want, all right? We demand change. Now, that's not happening, though. Everybody is out there, you know, um, 
uh, stockpiling their guns, stockpiling their toilet paper, stockpiling all their fucking bullshit, all right, and hoping to God that everything changes. But if it doesn't change, well, I'm going to hunker down here. And it's like, that's very passive. And that, believe it or not, is what's going to cause the end of uh, the American empire, eventually. It just is. Because what really needs to happen is for people to fucking say, enough is enough. I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. We are sick and tired of being sick and tired. All right? And that's what we need to be doing right now. We need to, you know, again, you know, do like a lot of times in our history. All right? And a lot of, and what a lot of other individuals have done in other countries, all right? In, in their history, which is... Again, go to your own government and demand the change or else. And that's what we need to do. But we're not doing any of that. In fact, we're doing the opposite. Right now, we're praising the reaction to what's happening right now. You know, we're praising our president. We're praising free money. We're praising all of this shit. And we're right now, as of right now, you know, um, all of this time that we've been, that our government has been dealing with, um, <clears throat> What is it like um, this, this situation, this uh, beer virus, or has been dealing with, um, <clears throat> what you call it, with the economy and all this stuff? You know, they have been behind the scenes in the last several weeks, passing a lot of laws, passing a lot of legislations, you know, just like they did during 9 11. All right? <clears throat> you already know <clears throat> what happened after 9 11 the Patriot Act, and, and so on and so forth, and we lost a lot of our freedoms. And we're seeing that again. Well, actually, no one's seeing that. <laughs> no one's seeing it. That's the point, you know what I mean? And um, right now, people are asking for more of that. People are asking for martial law. People are asking for more government control. People are asking for, for please, government, please take away my freedoms. Take away my liberty. Please, please. That's what they're asking for, you know? And then when, you know, you're looking at why they're asking for that, it's again because they're being led by fear. And the, the American government or the people that are in power of that government, just like other governments around the world, are, again, you know, they're setting the stage perfectly in order to get those things that they want from the people, which is total control. In fact, they're not taking it from the people. The people are giving it to them, and that's where we are now, all right? So what... What was the agenda behind this whole virus situation? Listen, guys, I'm not here to, you know, start bringing up things from the past, but I will. If you want to go down the rabbit hole and, you know, let's take a little, you know, you know, a little trip down a memory lane, <clears throat> we all know fully well that this uh, beer virus is not anything new. In fact, there's patents for it. And, you know, this thing has been around for a minute. And, uh, and I'm not, I'm, I'm, I know this is a new version of it, but listen, guys, we've been talking about bioweapons for a very long time. You know, um, not just this country, but other countries. Um, if you are to sit here and think that the United States has not already been at war, a proxy war with countries like Russia, China, and, and beyond, um, I don't know what to tell you, you know what I mean? But we have. And um, this is just a continuation of that. How ironic that this virus, you know, affected China. And then it affected Iran. And it's affecting Venezuela. It's like, what the, what the F? And then all of a sudden now we got a certain other virus, you know, affecting the US, whether it was brought there, you know, by, you know, China or an enemy, or, and by the way, I don't even know who's enemies, who's friends anymore. This whole thing is, you know, all over the place. You know, we're gonna talk about oil. We can talk about so many things that are going on in the world right now, but, <laughs> All we can really basically agree on is the fact that there's a lot of crazy shit happening. Every single day we're losing more and more and more of our freedoms and control and everything. And um, these individuals out there that are in power are gaining more control and doing even crazier things. So again, we don't know what and how a virus ended up in New York and LA and all over the US, but it's there and it's all over the place and now it's causing mass hysteria. And even though Trump today is saying, oh, everything's great, the markets were up and blah, 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 Again, anyone that's been around 2008, 2007, uh, you know, crash and other crashes even before that, you guys already know that, you know, you know, we got a bunch of days of bad news, we got a couple days of good news, we got a bunch more days of bad news, but in the totality, when you add it all up, it was a bunch, it was a giant shit show. And that's kind of like what's going on right now. 
you know, we are just a bunch of goldfish today, you know, in today's uh, world, and um, we forget, you already forgot. So that's the thing, you know what I mean? We're constantly, you know, being fed so much information, so much stuff that we just forget what happened right now. So that's basically it, you know what I mean? So what are they doing? They're just constantly feeding that. They're feeding that algorithm that is within your brain and within your thing. Again, just like when you're, you know, what they want right now is they want this social distancing stuff. They want you to, you know, be, they, again, they're even saying that even after the virus, you know, they want a lot of these customs, a lot of these new things that we're learning to be part of everyday life from now on and so on and so forth. You know, this is a, like some crazy agenda that they're trying to push and we're all trying to figure out what the hell is going on here. But if you have been going down the rabbit hole for a very long time, for many years, if you, I don't, I'm trying to avoid certain words, by the way, I don't know if you've noticed, but you guys already know, by the way, if you guys have already been questioning authority and questioning a lot of these things, you guys already know that um, we have been heading down this path for a very long time. And if anything, you know, what's going on right now is the fact that it's caught everybody off guard, even people that have been waiting for this for a very long time, because it's like all of a sudden, like it's a month ago, nothing was happening and now a month later the whole world as we know it has been turned upside down like literally upside down okay no one's at work everything is shut down everything is quiet i mean you know it, it, it's just it's it's kind of insane and so basically you know right now there's tons of people out there that have a bunch of theories as to what's going on and um, has a bunch of ideas as to what could be going on, but the reality is is that most people have no idea what the fuck is going on. And all we can do is sit back and watch. Because, you know, yeah, I can go out there and fight the government, or fight, you know what I mean, like this situation, but what's gonna end up happening to me, you already know. And so, you know, it's not about, you know, me or you or just, you know, certain individuals going out there and doing what they need to do, but it's, but it's, all, it's about all of us, you know, like, educating ourselves, questioning more, asking what the hell is really going on. Why does the, why does none of this make any sense? We've had way more intense, um, uh, what is it, medical situations all over the world and even in the U.S. themselves, and yet why are we, you know, going uh, full throttle on this situation, on this beer, uh, beer uh, virus? Why is this, you know, bringing the whole world to a complete stop? Winter has come at last. You know, why? You know, w what is really going on? So, you know, now, you know, let's talk about the economics for a minute. You know, basically, again, going back to the bubble pop, all right? That bubble had to be popped. <laughs> so if they can control it, why not do exactly what they just did now? Create some sort of virus, put everybody in panic, force everybody to close, force the whole world economy to come to a complete stop, and then bam, blame it on that. A few thousand people dead here or there, you know, a few outbreaks depending on uh, what country needs more of a halt and a stop, and so on and so forth, and it's just all perfectly calculated. You know, why is it that some countries have a couple deaths, a couple um, infections, and other countries have a gazillion infections and a gazillion, you know, and, and things that just don't make sense. But if you look at it from the, again, from a geopolitical um, economic perspective, then you understand it a little further, a little better. <clears throat> there are very few cases coming out of Russia. The whole thing in China is pretty much on lockdown. Literally, you know, they've already taken care of that situation. And, um, you know, in other countries, things are getting worse. In other countries, they haven't seen a thing. And so on and so forth. But yet, you're seeing the same reaction flat across the board for the whole thing you know meaning you know there's all part of that one one world government thing you know one size fits all and that's what again i really do think that this is just a dry run and this is just um you know a sign of things to come um, going forward we haven't seen anything yet i don't know what's going to happen out of all this none of us know what's really going to happen out of all this you know in the coming weeks and months but we know that the world has changed as we know it. Just like the world changed forever after 9-11 and the world changed forever after 2007, 2008, guess what? The world is changing all over again. It's, it's another, you know, life altering thing that it's gonna change all of us for the rest of, you know, our lifetimes. And it's just a reality of it. And um, 
we need to start acting accordingly and start educating ourselves and start you know really figuring out what the hell's going on at the very least you know to the point where hey I don't like the fact that there's a tank parked out outside my house. Hey, I don't like the fact that, you know, they can just take away our freedoms at a moment's notice. Hey, you know what? Now that we got out of this uh, Cerveza virus situation, I think that now we should start really taking seriously, uh, a, you know, a, a get out plan. We should start taking seriously, you know, what are we going to do when this happens again? Are we going to, you know, comply and follow orders or are we going to be able to be self uh self-reliant and living off the grid also else elsewhere okay because that's the thing you know out here in mexico there's plenty of uh villages and towns and shit like that that are just like off the grid and you know no one's getting infected you know because they're not, they're not letting anyone in or anyone out you try doing something like that in the u.s so that's what i'm saying you know that's what i mean right now i'm not too happy with the fact that i'm here in the major city of merida mexico in the the state of yucatan and they might be doing that whole closure thing but at least i know that hey this is temporary in the sense that you know i have a way out you know what i mean like if i don't like the way this goes which i'm not i might end up leaving this city and i might move out even further into the boonies okay and this things like that being further and further away from this mass chaos that is affecting the whole world now you know granted things in mexico are nowhere near um what's happening in other parts of the world and especially in the u.s but it's food for thought in the sense that you know what are we going to keep doing are we just going to keep looking at these things and be like hey eh, whatever or are we going to start acting accordingly you know again i have done so by you know constantly purchasing things like gold and silver and things like bitcoin and 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 other and other assets you know what i mean educating myself constantly staying on top of what's happening in the world and uh um, and, and so many other things in order for me not to get caught with my pants down like a lot of us have and even when we do there's a way out okay so you know today's episode was pretty long this is also going to be in podcast form um, just like a lot of these videos that I'm going to start doing now, uh, I know you guys love these videos. You guys enjoy them very much. And, um, I'm going to keep making them. We have a lot of things to talk about. I'm recording this and I'm going to be uploading it immediately. And, um, again, you know, you can catch this in podcast form. You can catch a lot of my content in podcast form. You can catch it. You know, um, I have another channel. I have many channels. I have many things. Please check out all the links down in the description. Check out my website. Check everything out because I'm getting censored on YouTube. I'm getting, my channel might not be around much longer. Who knows anymore, all right? Just things are constantly changing. So guys, please, if you enjoyed this kind of content, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell like on, but more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. I really hope you enjoyed this video because if you did, then guess what, guys? I'm going to be making a lot more. Even if you didn't, I'm still going to be making more because it's what I do anyways. Guys, I love you to death. Stay safe out there. Let's keep this conversation going. Expect more videos and more content. And more than anything else, expect Lambo uh, to get a shout because he's stinky. All right. Love you guys. Peace out. And uh, hope you guys have an awesome, amazing rest of your day.